Yes, we've just been joined on the line by legal practitioner Martin Pebu. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Good morning, morning. Martin Pebu. Yes, thank you yes. so much for joining us on the line. Yes, okay, that's pleasure. All right, we have just had breaking mm. news that Dr. Kesel Forsen and Richard Jackba have been uh, acquitted and discharged. What does this mean? Yeah, so I know that they are free, free forever, right? Yeah, so okay. no more trial. And this actually welcome relief for all of us because the high court trial is such an embarrassment. It's embarrassed as a commission. That's a trial that should never have you on ahead the moment the um, tape came out. So this is a welcome relief. Because, no, you know, we are building a democracy. We shouldn't encourage unfair trials. As soon as that capacity came out, I didn't see any trial going on in the high court, but somehow it was going on. So this is a great relief that we made. Everything in the high court stopped. Okay. okay. Welcome relief. At least we should create Ghana our motherland. Okay. Well, well, that's interesting. Um, but only yesterday, um, the, the matter was still in court. We heard about um, the case about uh, Richard Jacques's dishonorable um, removal from the armed forces and what it meant to the case. Today, they have been acquitted and discharged. Does it mean that all those um, concerns about his character and so on, which took center stage or forefront of the trial, do not matter? They do not. And please, let's make this correction. I, it's not my understanding that there was a dishonorable discharge. No, that's not what the CDS said. Okay. See, the CDS said Jaffa should have been tried, should have been tried. And so once the trial never came on, you cannot say that he was discharged dishonorably. That's okay. not what he said. You say. And, and he also said that Jaffa was released because of lack of interest. Yes. Lack of interest. So if as an employer, you find that an employee has done something wrong, and you choose to take the employee through the discharge process, but rather you choose to let the employee go uh, without any blemish. You can't later come back and say there's an honorable discharge. There's right. nothing like that. Yes. Okay. Now, um, before you go, what yes. does this mean for the work of the Attorney General? It's shame on the Attorney General. It's shame, 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 shame on God for that he has taken us through such an embarrassing episode as a council. But the Dani and his cohort have embarrassed Ghana. That case that he totally embarrassed himself in this nation. It's something that should have first his uh, acting to stop the trial. His meetings have allowed that case to come out. Mm -hmm. Today, the case is out, he's embarrassed as a nation, and as a person, so I want you to see. So it's double slash on Dr. Dami and one slash for us as a nation. That these are the underhand dealings he uses as an attorney general. And so with this article of uh, article so Dr. Dami must resign. Dr. Dami must resign immediately. He must, he must resign because he lost the case? No, not that, but that he kept on the fight when the case made it very clear that this trial was unfair. He was using underhand dealings. Very corrupt dealing. That was corruption he was involved in. So he must resign now. But, but um, lawyer, if I may ask, you remember that there was an application that was filed by the lawyers of the minority leader and, of course, Richard Jackpot. They were asking for a mistrial. They were asking for, um, you know, some. Um, they needed to look into the, the actions of the attorney general as well. And the lawyer, the judge at that time had indicated that we didn't have any mistrial history. In, in Ghana's, you know, jurisprudence. legal jurisprudence. And so she could not use that as a basis to go ahead and, you know, offer a mistrial. But in this case, do you think that with the ruling that has come out at this point, maybe at that time, we really could have made history by going ahead with the mistrial at that point, clearly with the evidence that was available? Yes, it is, but the problem came with the use of the term mistrial. Yes, we don't use mistrial. But one thing is very clear, that we call it prosecutorial misconduct so that the judge could have used the substance of the law and still send the trial at the matter will stop the trial. If somebody comes to court with a wrong term, it doesn't mean the judge should throw out the key. The judge yourself didn't get it right. That thing is called uh, under the law of disclosure, abuse of process under the uh, inherent jurisdiction of the court. So 
a court does not allow itself to be used for political machination, for political vendetta, for political witch hunt. So that was the basis on which the guy should have stopped the trial. But because the artist of the court came with the word Messiah, as I said, the, the lawyer can come with the wrong thing, right? We make it to everybody, even the school court. Everybody makes it to so mm. it. A lawyer comes with the wrong word, it doesn't mean you hang on to it. Yeah. You look into the okay. captain. It's mm. called abuse of process. You stop mm. the trial because they are using the trial for political with uh, hunting. Okay. okay, for political end. So the court stops it under its inherent jurisdiction. Inherent. So it is power that the court has. The okay. court is the court of law. The court of law is not meant to uh, return or the car Okay, so... Just quickly, if I may ask as well. So at this point, I mean, if you were the legal advisor for Honorable Kesa Lato Forsin, looking at the, the concerns they had raised in that application, what would have been your next step as the legal team? Would you also now... Could there be a lawsuit filed against the Attorney General? What, what exactly could happen at this point? Yeah, they can look at it and pursue a case of malicious prosecution. Where you know there's no case against an accused, and you go and you try to manufacture evidence to come and get him guilty. Yes. So, I think what you and so can look at it and come for malicious prosecution. Like what happened to ACT Abuja? We are mm. working on the ACT Abuja case. We we'll sue the Attorney General for malicious prosecution. Yes. Mm. Interesting. The interesting well, times ahead. Yeah. But um, if if you if you consider our history. Or as a legal practitioner, you, you, you said if you were representing Atu, Atu, um, case of Atu Force, and this is something you'd consider. But realistically, is this, is this something that we see happening? No, I didn't hear you well. Realistically, is, is this something that we see happening, that the Attorney General can um, be dragged to court for malicious prosecution in this matter? Oh, when you say realistic, no one, it's difficult to tell. It's for them to take the shot. As I'm talking to you now, okay. my friend on for example, we sued the Attorney General over yes. this issue at the farm attack. Yes. We sued the Attorney General. Yes. So it's far too fast and it's nice to decide. You All know right. that the farm attack, that's the same way he said, we need a predicate for friends, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That is not the law. So, example, and myself, we sue the attorney general. We are able to answer. So, it's also for the first where it should decide. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, okay. for, for speaking to yeah. us this morning. We've been talking